Hey YouTube, this is Dean making another vid. If you like my content, please consider hitting the like button. Also, please consider subscribing as it is very much appreciated. Another in my series, have a look at knives. This is um, a big one I'm doing. This is a collection of my belt knives. And again, this is only ones, this one is the only one I've really used. I bought these ones for collecting purposes only. Several of them are very special to me because they have a backstory to, to them. I will go into that backstory as I go through each one. I did buy that one as a user, but really haven't got around to using it. But let's go through each one and I'll show you them as a Gerber model 525 made in the USA. Long wanted this one. Um, it's a beauty. Back when Gerber made knives that were, as far as I'm concerned, very desirable. Um, I'm sorry, but um, in my opinion, they shifted when a, a little while ago. It, um, yeah, Gerber became a company that I didn't really want to associate with anymore. But when these were being made, it, it was a company that I really liked. This is the Model 525. This has got a sort of a very ba sad backstory to it. Um, this knife was owned by a friend of mine who took his own life. And um, yeah. Anyway, I ended up with the knife because um, yeah, he um. He suicided and then my old man had a 525 and I'd long admired it. it was a, it's a beautiful belt knife. And when we were going through his gear, because the young fellow that was sta was staying with my old man and um, a lot of his gear was with dad. And after he'd done the job... Um, we were going through his gear and Dad said, why don't you grab that And um, as a remembrance of him. And, yeah, so I ended up with this knife. So, yeah, it's um, yeah, it's, it's a remembrance of him. And, yeah, it's, um, it's a sad, sad knife for me to have. But, um, yeah, it's a beautiful knife. They, they make a really, really nice knife. The USA made Gerber's. Um, beautiful handle. Just overall a fantastic belt knife. And the 525s are, are one of their classic, classic belt knives. I'd, and, and as I said, I'd long wanted one. So, yeah, well, I, I, I ended up with one, but, yeah, in sad circumstances. So, yeah, that's the 525 Gerber made in USA, Portland, USA. Then the LMF, Gerber LMF, again made in the USA. This one I bought off a friend of mine, got it for a really good price too. Again, long wanted one, um, yeah, fantastic. Again, um, this is back when they made knives that as far as I'm concerned, were very desirable. Um, yeah, just a great beefy knife. Again, with this rubberized or foamized, foamed handles, fits your hand really well. Really nice knife. I didn't really buy this one other than the fact that I just wanted one, LMF. Um, yeah, just, I'd always wanted one, and then when my mate, put it up for sale I um I had to have it so yeah I just grabbed it really chunky um sheath I'm not really excited about the sheath um yeah they I don't know it seems a little bit overbuilt to me yeah, but yeah knife is really good I love it I'm glad I got it, it sort of completes my I, I don't have a lot of Gerbers but um yeah and I only really got them now that they um I only, I only really go for the older models. 
That brings me on to my SOG government. Um, this is the old, old model. And this was one of the first belt knives I ever bought. And um, yeah, I've, I used, I've used this one quite extensively. I've taken out hunting. Um, yeah, it's um, seen a fair bit of use. And I, it's, um, I bought this when I was in my early 20s. I think, yeah, I think I was about 21, 20. So yeah, it's 30 years old. So yeah, it's um, yeah, it's seen a lot of use. I haven't used it a lot in a fair few years now, but um, yeah, in my 20s and 30s, I did certainly use it a fair bit. So I'm seeing a fair bit of action. This one, that was my primary belt knife when I was out hunting. Sob government. Really nice knife, excellent, excellent knife. I really, really liked it. It's a beautiful little drop point. Seki Japan made ones. Fantastic knife. Um, the old, the sheath, um, yeah, it, the, the strap broke, so I ended up adding on a um, belt, uh, as adding on a, um, a leather one over the top. As I said, um, yeah, I've had it for a fair while, so yeah, it, and it, it's never going anywhere, so yeah. I only bought this one, the SOG Agency, number 645, made in Taiwan. Um, I only bought this one a little while ago, it was on ABF. Um, been a, I hadn't seen one of these for a long time, and when it came up for sale, um, yeah, I just, I jumped on it. Um, yeah, they're, they're just a classic SOG, and I'm glad I bought it. it. It's got a few little marks on it and that, but yeah, overall, it's in pretty good nick. Um, and yeah, I, I paid a pretty good price for it too, like a, a, a reasonable price for it too. So yeah, yeah, fantastic knife, really. And I only just bought it for for collecting purposes. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to use it or anything, but yeah, just one of the classic sogs that um, they've they made had the black it's got the black finish on it yeah just a um a fantastic belt knife one of the one of the classic sogs the sog agency this one is made in taiwan that doesn't worry me at all stacked leather handle yeah came with the leather sheath with the um I won't take it out, it's really hard to get out. It's got the sharpening stone on it. Yeah, sheath's in not too bad a condition, but yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a reasonably old knife, so yeah. And that leads me to my last one, my charade. SCHF52M with my Carter handles. Um, this was a gift from a friend, so yeah, it's... Um, yeah, it holds a lot of sentimental value for me for this one. So, yeah, this is, um, yeah, it's a fantastic knife. Um, there's been a few mixed reviews with this one. Um, I did get, this is a user. So, yeah, I, 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 I haven't used it much. I've, I've done a little bit of work with it. I do intend to use it a fair bit. The only, I do have a criticism that they did make the um, the micarta very uh, it, it's very um, rough. So I've seen a lot of a lot of people took a Dremel to them and or put them on a seventy two inch grinder and gr grind the um, the micarta um, smooth. So I, I just put camo form on it just to stop it from. You just about have to wear gloves with it. S with them so yeah but yeah these are uh, made in china which most most of the mass production knives are now 1095 steel quarter inch thick it it's got all the um like all the stats for a good user but um yeah there are some uh like contentions as to whether the Chinese ones are any good or not because Schrade was an American company so they used to be all made in America and now they, they're made in China so I, I, I will eventually um, 
flog the hell out of it and see whether it stands up to a use or not, you know, like, I'm not going to abuse it, but um, I, I, I definitely um, think it's a knife that deserves to be used, and it, it should, I look at this one as like a direct competition to the likes of the K-Bars, you know, because it's a 1095 quarter inch thick um, knife, so, you know, like, which is a direct competition to the K-Bar 1095 knives, so, you know, like, I, I would really like to see how it goes up against a K bar, like because it's got the same length as the um, the the K bar seven inch one. So yeah, I'd like to put it head to head. I don't actually own it, the K bar with the seven inch handle on it, seven inch one. So yeah, I I, I I'll eventually. I don't know. I might might see if I can get one and put it go it head to head with it but yeah I think these are these are a more reasonably priced version of like compared to the K bars so yeah that'd be um, it'd be a good comparison but yeah I have heard some horror stories of, of these too so I don't know but yeah I, I will eventually get to use it so I have I have done a little bit of work with it I've um, done a little bit of chopping and whatnot and that's when I found out that the the uh, handles weren't up to were very rough so yeah that's why I put the camo form on it but yeah it, it, it feels really good and um, as far as weight and everything goes and and it's certainly got the stats to being a a, a, a good user, you know, 1095, as long as the heat treats up to it and that. Um, I did, Mark Sinclair, who made my custom, has a um, has a, a hardness tester. So I might send it over to him and get it tested to see how hard it is. So, yeah, and um, and then give it a good run and see how, see how it performs. So, yeah, but um, that, that'll be down the track a bit. But anyway, yeah, I wanted to um, show that one off too. That's my Schrade SCHF 52M. That's the last in it. This was a gift from a friend. Yeah, so yeah, that's um, yeah, it's a, it holds a special place in my heart for that because yeah, it was really good and it's got the um, the sheath with all the, um, it's got a few bits and pieces in there. It's a few survival bits, you know. They they tend to do that now these days, and it's it is marketed as a survival knife. So yeah, they like to be able to add in a few survival bits and pieces too. Anyway, that's um yeah, my Gerber five twenty five Gerber LMF Sog Government Sog Agency and Schrade SCHF. 52M. Anyway, that's my, another one of my Have a Look At series. Thanks for watching.